Let us pray. In Jesus' name. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you because this is yet another week. We thank you, Lord, because you protected us throughout the last week. You guide our steps, O oh God. We give you glory, honor, power, and majesty. Take all the glory in the name of Jesus. Amen. As we come to a new week, Lord, we pray, O oh God, that you will continue to be our protector, our guide in the name of Jesus. Amen. Heavenly Father, we worship you as we are going into your word. We pray, O oh God, that we are not just going to be the heir of your word, but we are going to be the doer of your word in the name of Jesus. Amen. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. We are talking about the uh, overcoming, and that's going to be our watchword throughout this week. Because God has made us to be an overcomer. God has, uh, Jesus Christ came to the world and he has overcome everything for us. And we, now we, sh we want to go into the book of Romans 12, 21. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Sometimes in life, bad things happen to us, even to good people. It doesn't matter. Sometimes we, we, we can ask God, why me? But God have reasons why we are experiencing everything we are going through now. And, and it's hard to know how to overcome them. But God has given us the way through Jesus Christ to overcome. As I said earlier, Jesus came to the world not just because of our sins, but even to overcome all the things. Because he, he knows us before we were born in our mother's womb, before we were formed in our mother's womb. God knows us and he has overcome all, everything for us. God says that we overcome by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. We can overcome because Jesus has already overcome this world. That's what John 16, 33. These things I have spoken to you that in me you may have peace and in the world you will have tribulations, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. I want us and I want to encourage us that the Lord has overcome the world for us. Jesus has overcome the world, overcome the world for us. No matter what we are facing presently, no matter what we are going to face this week, even the Bible let us know that we will have tribulations, but we should be of good share because he has overcome the world. And in the book of 1 John 5, 4, for whatever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. So when we are talking about overcoming the world, it's not just, just believing that alone, but we have in our belief we should have faith in god that whatever we are passing through whatever it is we are going to face wherever we are going whatever appointment whatever whatever it may be that with our faith in god we have overcome god requires us even to have faith in him to believe that in everything we have overcome no matter how big the lord is bigger than all our problems the Lord is bigger than all our fears. The Lord is bigger than all those sicknesses. The Lord is bigger than those appointments in the hospital. The Lord is bigger than everything we may face. The Lord is bigger than those interviews that we have this week. And the Lord is bigger than all those bees and whatever it is that we may face this week. Died for us on the cross of Calvary. He has overcome the world for us and is saying to us, for whatever is born of God, for whoever is born of God overcomes the world. And this is the victory that has overcome the world, our faith. Let's look into the book of Romans 8.37. Romans 8.37. Yet in all these things, we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. So, Whatever it may be, we are more than conquerors. And Jesus is greater in us than any evil in the world. Next time, when you feel down and like you are losing, remember, Jesus will help you overcome. He is fighting for you to win and praying for your faith. So, the Lord knows everything about us. The Lord is with us. 
and we are going to overcome whatever it may be, whatever we are passing through. I want to encourage you this week that the Lord is with you no matter what it is. You are an overcomer and just go into the world this week. Go to your workplace, go to everywhere you are going to, believing that you have overcome the world in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen.